So Leanne, welcome to Ausfinte Comic Con. Um, what does it mean for you to be one of the guest stars here in Vienna? This is incredible. Um, I never thought that what I do would bring me all the way to the other side of the world. This is actually my first time in Europe, so to be here for you know the first Vienna Comic Con is really, really awesome. You have been on many, many other cons. What are the differences between the cons and how would you describe Vienna in relationship to the other cons? We were just talking about this a minute ago. Um, the one great thing about Vienna is how relaxed everything is. Um, I feel like cons in the States, I've done so many cons and everywhere is very different. Um, even in the same states, you'll find that cons are very different even when they're only an hour or two away. But the one great thing about here is how kind and sweet everyone is. Um, and they take the time to talk to you and tell you stories. And I feel like I've, I've gotten really to connect with a lot of my fans here, which is, it's incredible. Have you ever been to Austria before? No, no. First time in Austria, first time in Europe, and I'm having the best time. It's a little cold, a little cold for my taste, but it's not too bad. <laughs> um, there are many cosplayers here in Vienna. There was a great competition yesterday. Um, are there differences in the quality of, of costumes in the different cons? Definitely. Um, you find that certain areas have, um, like, the type of the genre of costumes is different as well as the quality. It just really depends on the area and everything is very different. It's not like um, in U.S. cons are all a certain way, in Europe they're all a certain way. It just varies from con to con. But there were 27 contestants yesterday and all of them were so good. It made it very, very hard to be a judge and to pick only one. Um, the guy that won, did you, see, you saw the contest, the wheel jack, he was insane and I walked up to the costume and he had it on um, like a mannequin on a stand and he's standing next to it and he's talking about the costume. In my mind I'm thinking, how is he going to put this on? How is he going to walk? And he just walked right across the stage like it was nothing and it lit up and there was smoke. Um, it was so cool. It was really, really cool. But there was also um, a lot of costumes that the technical um, level of skill was out of this world. I mean, stuff that was hand-stitched that took over 360 hours to make. So there was a lot of great costumes in the costume contest. Do you remember your beginning for, for to be a cosplayer? I do remember my beginning. So I started off going to conventions as a fan. Um, I went to San Diego Comic Con. It was my first con. I've gone to over 14 San Diego Comic Cons. And um, I just went as a normal attendee, like the people that are walking around. And I was seeing people in costume, and I decided that I wanted to try it. So I made a, a Mario costume, and then my Chewbacca, my Wokini, my Chewbacca bikini. And uh, it was very stressful. I didn't know what I was doing. And my only thing was I was hoping that I, I would get into the convention and it didn't fall off. And as long as it didn't fall off, it would be fine. And I had a great time and it started this whole thing for me. How do you choose your characters? Easy. I pick things that I love. So I pick characters, uh, things that I grew up with. I'm a huge fan of, I do a lot of Star Wars costumes and a lot of scary costumes. Is there a costume you like the most? You know what? I kind of go through phases. Um, to me, they're kind of like they're like your your cats. Like you can't pick a favorite pet or a favorite kid. Uh, they all mean to you, mean something to you in a different way. So I have phases where I I always really like to wear Freddy, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Okay. Um, can you tell us something about your work? How do you start to make a costume? How do you get the idea for it? Um, usually for me, uh, it happens when I'm doing normal things like driving or doing laundry or washing dishes and it just pops into my mind and then I go on the internet and I look up, look up pictures and then I find my materials and um, it's always very fast so it's never a very drawn out process because I travel a lot so I have a couple days so it's always very very quick. Uh, how much time do you need for a costume? It really depends. Uh, something like this I, you can make in a day. Uh, there's other things that are armor that'll take you weeks um, to make. So it just depends on what materials you're working with. If anyone wants to start his own costume, what advice would you give him? Research. Um, 
the internet is your, your number one tool. You can look up anything on the internet. You can get, most of the time you can find videos if there's anything you're making and you need to know how to do it. Somebody's probably done it before you and made a video or had a pictorial tutorials to show you how to do it. So use the internet, it makes things very easy. And um, also take your time and make sure you pick something that you love because you get to a point, any costume, where you don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to look at it anymore, you're stressed out, you want to throw it in the, in the corner. Uh, but if you really love the character, you'll push through that and you'll finish the costume. Um, everyone has his own um, role models. Which are, your, are yours? Um, you know what, I look up to, I have a lot of friends in, in costuming that um, have been doing this for 10, 15 years, um, and they're the ones that I looked up to at the beginning because uh, one of my friends, Anessa, she is an incredible costume designer. One of the first costumes I saw her make was, uh, she did the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, and I've, to this day, never seen anyone do it as good as she did. And I remember seeing her for the first time and just being in awe of how cool it was and talking to her for the first time. And she just said to me, she's like, yeah, I made this. And to me, I couldn't even process, like, how do you even do that? So um, there's so many people in the community that do amazing work. And I'm like, my mind is blown yesterday at the costume contest, seeing the work that these people put into it, and how, um, how passionate they are about it. It's really inspiring. Um, you're one of the most famous cosplayers in the world. I think so. <laughs> um, do you know how you got to the top? Um, I worked very hard for a very long time. Um, I think a big misconception um, in this is you see, you see people traveling and you see you put on costumes and you walk around a convention, but there's a lot of work. Uh, there's a lot of work involved in not only making the costume, uh, but also building a brand and representing your brand in the way that you want to be represented. Uh, so I put in nine, over nine years of work to be where I am. So it wasn't like a, an overnight thing. There was a lot of hard work behind it. With great power comes great responsibility. Um, did your life, your behavior changed in the last years? Um, no, I think I've been me for as long as I can remember. And uh, one thing that I, I do like to do is I like to make sure that parts of me shine through and no matter what I do. So um, there's always the Leanna Vamp spin on every character. So you'll never see, every once in a while I'll do something that's fairly accurate, but for the most part I like to make it my own and I like to make it original. One of the most important themes in, in cosplay is, is sexuality, because sex sells. Um, what is your opinion about it? So there's very uh, differing opinions on this topic. Uh, for me, I encourage people to do what make you, makes you feel comfortable. So if you feel comfortable being fully covered up, if you feel comfortable being a little bit sexy, uh, it's totally up to you. And the one cool thing about this is, this is a way for our uh, personalities to show through in a character. So you do what makes you feel good. And if you're, you feel good and you're having fun, then you're doing it right. Do you think the, the, the topic is much too strong? Um, I think people, uh, just with anything, you have very strong opinions about some things and then you have people that just don't care. Um, and again, I feel that you just have to do what makes you feel good and you're always going to get criticism or judgment from other people that tell you you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. But you do what, what feels good to you and that's all that should matter. Okay. Um, what are the dumpest things other people did to you? The dumbest? Oh, no. Yeah, on, on, on Comic Con. You know what? I don't really have any like bad or crazy stories. I feel that I'm very lucky. My fans are so supportive and, and pretty respectful. I mean, every once in a while you get the younger kid that is wants to give you a hug and kind of catches you off guard and you're like, ah, I don't know who you are. Uh, but for the most part, um, I haven't had too many crazy experiences. Everyone's been really kind to me. What will be your next project? My next, oh, there's so many. Um, right now, I'm trying to think of what I really want to do. Um, the new um, Ash vs. Evil Dead, I don't know if you're familiar with Evil Dead, the new show. So I already do an Ash, but his version is a little bit different in the new show. So I kind of want to upgrade my Ash and have a newer version of that. I also have um, a new... Uh, Tomb Raider costume, I'm going to do the scuba suit, the Laura Croft scuba suit, but I figured it's a little too cold to be walking around in a wetsuit and no pants. Well, I guess I'm wearing no pants right now, so that doesn't really, <laughs> it's not a valid point. But yeah, I have a few projects. Um, 
I don't like talking about a lot of things that I'm doing until it's ready to be done because I feel like it's a lot of pressure if I don't get it done. So I, I keep things secret most of the time. Cosplay is growing very fast, actually. Um, what do you think, where will be cosplay in five years? You know what, it's, uh, it's growing very quickly and people are getting very good at things. So uh, one great way to judge that is with the costume contest. I feel like the more that I've been a part of and involved in, people are getting so much more technical and finding really creative ways to make costumes. Um, whereas before you had more um, like armor builds with foam and uh, in warbla and now you're seeing people like machine their own pieces 3d print their own pieces so it's um it's getting pretty crazy the the amount of technical skill and the resources that we have now are making it so that you see full-on robots walking around at conventions so in five years who knows what we're gonna see will we see you again next year i hope so if you guys would have me back i would love to be here thank you for your time thank you so much